Hey everybody, how's it going? Like Butter here, and today I got a division video because we got some of the best news that we've ever gotten in the division. I've actually been up all night. I've been way too excited to go to sleep because finally we are starting to see a bright future for the division. Now, if you don't know what state of the game is, it's a weekly show that the devs do where they talk about future updates, future changes that they're going to be making with the game, and they also talk about the state of the game. That's the name of the show. And they know that this game needs some major changes right now there's some super super frustrating problems with the end game that's affecting a lot of players fun and enjoyment in this game like there's just a lot of things that just do not make sense scaling from 1 to 30 felt really good you know, when you had a level 5 weapon, you could kill level 5 NPCs, regardless of the rolls on the weapon, or, you know, the rolls on whatever gear you were using. If you had gear of a certain level, you could easily take down those NPCs. The problem is, in late game, it doesn't feel like that. You can have fully optimized 268 gear, have the best build, you know, in the game, and still struggle fighting level, you know, 35 or even 34 NPCs by yourself because they just do way too much damage and they are way too spongy. So what I'm going to show you guys here on screen is one of the graphs that they showed us about the difference in the scaling from level 12 and the scaling from level 30. And it's mind-blowing the changes in the time to kill that it takes to take down NPCs. Now, this is one thing that they're going to be changing in 1.4. They're completely reworking it. I'll show you guys a comparison video right here on screen. They showed this on State of the Game. They're talking about how they are lowering the NPCs' health and also lowering their damage. And they're also going to be tweaking other things like maybe stats on gear or skills as a whole. I personally think that in order for them to nerf NPCs to be able to scale with the 1 to 30 like they want to do, skills are going to have to get nerfed. I don't know if they're going to nerf skill power, if they're going to nerf the weapon mods or or, or um, you know gear mods. We, we're not sure quite yet what they're going to nerf, but assumingly they're going to be nerfing skills and that's good because what that allows them to do is lower the NPC health pool and finally they're not going to be these bullet sponges that you have to shoot thousands and thousands of times. Now, how are they going to fix the loot problem and the scaling problem? Because the scaling is one thing, but there's also this problem where some people have really really good gear because they're hardcore players like myself maybe they do you know research on the internet on how what's the proper build and what to use for your play style and those players are going to be okay you know if you know they're running with a group and everyone has well optimized builds and they're running a decent team comp they're not going to have problem with the npcs in the game however a player who just hit level 30 or happens to have 268 gear but that 268 gear isn't necessarily optimized in helping their dps or their stamina or their skill power they're going to have a lot harder of a time killing those npcs than the the group of players who have completely you know min max gear and are set you know, so this is what they're doing. And this is one of the best ideas I've seen for this game. And I think this idea comes from Diablo. Now you're seeing a lot of things that are done in this game, much like it is in Diablo. Now, I believe I haven't played Diablo in such a long time. I believe there's something called torment levels, which sets the level of, um, what you're playing and it will drop loot in accordance to that level that's basically what you're going to be able to do in the end game in the division you are going to be able to set the tier of what the npcs are in the open world and also in the missions and what does that mean so there's going to be a menu i'm going to show you here on screen you can see in the top left hand corner there is a world like a little world symbol and then there's a number that's the world tier uh the world tier or world level you're going to be able to set that world level to whatever you want so for example if you set your world level to tier one that's going to make all of the npcs level 30. if you put it to tier two it's going to make all the npcs level 31. you put it to tier three it's going to make all the npcs level 32. If you put it to tier 4, it's going to put all of the NPCs to level 33. 
Level 34 and level 35 enemies are removed from the game for now. Now, that doesn't mean there's not going to be level 34 and 35s in the future, but the good thing is that if they do get added in the future, they will be with the proper scaling. Now, the problem was with the, with the end game is I don't know if you guys know this or not. I try to explain this in my gear set video. How gear score works is basically it's just a number. It really doesn't mean how good your gear is. It's actually the level of your gear. What I mean by that is once you hit level 30, you get level 30 gear, right? When you get level 31 gear, it's 163. When you get level 32 gear, it's 182. When you get level 33 gear, it's 204. When you get level 34 gear, it is uh, 229 or technically 268 if you're getting gear sets. Now that can be a little bit confusing because the scaling on the high ends is a little bit different from the scalings on the gear sets. The gear sets have higher scaling gear score. This is actually going to be moved to be the same thing. So the highest gear score that you're going to be able to have in the division after 1.4 is going to be 229. The highest set gear sets, um, the 268, is going to be 229 so that it's linear with high ends. Now, what does this mean? This means that high ends are going to get buffed. So your reckless chest pieces, your savage gloves, um, your vigorous chest pieces, your rejuvenated masks, or whatever you use, any type of high ends, those high ends are going to get scaled up to be on the same level as 268 gear sets. Now, I always thought that was weird that gear sets had higher um, a gear score and higher stats than like the high ends because that made the high ends really not that viable, which it shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't feel like you're forced into using a gear set. A gear set should be an option. You should have a, a, an option to use a certain set if you want those bonuses, but you shouldn't be forced into using one. And that's how it was. You were kind of forced into using it because, you know, if you're completely decked out in 229 items, you know, the player with 268 items with the gear set bonuses is going to out, you know, out uh, damage that other player. So that's what they're changing with the gear. Now let's go back to the world level and talk about how this works. So let's say, for example, you're a level 30. And you just you just turn level 30 and you want to go, you know, in tier one. So tier one is gonna have level 30 NPCs. It's not gonna force you into, you know, a level anymore where like when you hit level 30 before, it it instantly puts you against like level 30s, and then when you did missions, it put you against like level 32s, 33s, and even 34s if you were running it like you know, whatever on her heroic mode. I think the heroic mode missions put him to 33 or 34. Or something like that it didn't make sense like some heroic modes like put him to 33 some put him to 34 it was kind of really funky and now it's gonna be a lot more linear and a lot easier to understand so with the tier or the you know the world level that you are you are going to get the NPCs that are that level so like I said tier 1 is gonna have level 30 NPCs those NPCs are gonna drop 163 items now, what that means is that you are going to get one tier higher. So you're getting level 31 gear from level 30 NPCs. So what you can see is now it's not going to be like it was where you need 268 gear to farm 268 gear and you don't need like, you know, 229s to get 229s. Now you're going to have gear that is going to be good enough for you to defeat the NPCs to get the gear of a higher level that you need. So, what does this mean for, like, the different modes and stuff? Like, say, you know, you put it in Tier 2, right? That makes all the NPCs level 31. Now, is there going to be a difference in level when you play on either normal, hard, or even challenging mode in missions? No. How it's going to work is that the mode that you play in is going to drop more of that loot in that specific tier. So, you know, like I said, the level 31s are going to drop you know, 182 items. So you're going to, whether you're on normal, hard, or challenging, it's always going to drop that level item. Now you have a small chance to get an item of the higher tier, but it's very, very small chance. 
so what this is going to do is it's going to allow people who want to maybe want to play solo maybe you don't want to do challenging maybe it's a little bit too difficult what you can do is you can play it on hard and still be able to get the gear that you would get if you were to play it on challenging however on challenging like say you get a group of players together a group of friends and you guys burn through challenging you're just going to get more loot so the drop rates are going to be higher on you know the higher levels but it's not going to drop a higher level set you know it's always going to drop the sets even with your tier so it's basically you can set your own scaling now if you want to just burn through npcs you can do that if you want a little bit more of a challenge and you want to try to do the challenging mode solo you'll be able to do that and you'll get rewarded for doing so so now solo players aren't going to be completely screwed like where they can't get gear currently the npcs are built for a full team that has completely maxed out gear and maxed out skills now it's going to be scaled to the individual player and what tier they want to put it in now what does this mean this means that they're going to be bringing back named enemies if you guys remember bullet king the bullet king glitch it became like a like a really funny meme in the division community uh everyone was like praising bullet king bullet king was this one named npc that you could kill over and over and over again basically you would kill him you would run into the safe house you'd run back out and you could kill him again do that and you could get a lot of materials for doing that and they fixed it and they changed it so that named like roaming named npcs don't exist anymore in the pve zone so now that they can fix that scaling to the the tier that you're in those are going to be coming back so what does that mean for you guys out there that want a, a pve dark zone you are going to have better than a PVE Dark Zone. What you're going to have is you're going to have an open world PVE experience where you can roam the streets of New York and get loot just by doing PVE. And it's always going to be loot of the tier that you're playing. So you can always get loot of what you want. So you want to do PVE with a couple of buddies? Awesome. Put it on tier 4. You know, you need those 229 items. Put it on tier four and you know roam the streets and try to find those named npcs take them out and get the gear now a huge problem i had is that you really couldn't get any useful gear from enemies that weren't named enemies like bosses right you would only get decent drops from bosses all the other drops would be kind of crap you know sometimes they drop purples but you don't really need purples now what's going to happen is you're going to have a chance to get those gear sets and those high-end items from random trash mobs they would call them in diablo just npcs that are just there that are just to kind of get out of the way you may get a really really good drop from a random just a random npc so what does that mean you know there's there's a there's a random pleb cleaner running at you in you know the underground in the dark zone or something like that and you kill him he may drop a gear set it's an extremely low chance it's a much lower chance than it is for like a boss obviously the boss has the guaranteed drop but it's still a chance and that's good because it makes killing those npcs that are kind of annoying and in your way not completely pointless so that is fantastic so it blows my mind how much is changing how the scaling is changing and how it's just going to be more fun and more viable to try different builds and stuff because you're not going to have to use a certain build in order to clear the overpowered npcs anymore the game overall is just going to be a hundred times better now although they're not addressing anything about pvp like directly if they end up nerfing skills, which I think they are, it, I think it will make PvP a lot more balanced because people will be a lot less dedicated to the skills that they're using and it will be much more dedicated to their aim and how well they are playing the gunfight. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the full state of the game if you want all the details. I just wanted to give a quick description of what went down. I know it was a lot. I probably missed some stuff. I've been up all night. But go watch the state of the game, guys. Take your time. It's about an hour long. Watch it, and I can assure you that if this doesn't have you excited for 1.4, I don't know what will. Be sure to drop this video a like if you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care, everybody.